So I'm always trying to get you, but you're always yeah. busy. Yeah, no, you're always yeah, people. Off, yeah. Yeah. yeah, trust me, trust me. So I was everything else training, gone, man. You're yeah, good, man. Couldn't be better. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying training, bruv. You know, that's it, man. Yeah, cool. So obviously, is this the, so? You, have you fought in Manchester before? Yeah, I yeah, think twice. And you know, right. the love I get up here is unbelievable. You know, I love the Manchester supporters. I had the yeah. choice of fighting at York Hall or right. Manchester. Right. Um, Manchester's the one, man. Yeah, it's great atmosphere up here. I'm a local lovely. myself, yeah. you know what I mean? So at the end, I support all the local fighters and stuff. Listen, your dad was one of the reasons why I'm into boxing today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, for Chris Eubank, he was a warrior, you know. Yeah. I mean, when you were younger, did you get to be around those sort of fights? No. I mean, what? No. Okay, so did you see your dad fight at no. all? No, no, you didn't. I was kept away from You kept that, away as from far that. as well as possible. Right. Why is that? I don't know, I'd, I'd think I wouldn't raise my kid. Mm. I wouldn't want my kid to see me fight. I would want my kid around, you know, certain things, you know, the, you know, certain boxing attracts, so mm. to speak, you know, mm-hmm. which, kids stay at home. Stay at home. Stay at home. Right, yeah. I'll come, I'll come home, I'll come home. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, Rather yeah. than them being amongst all this fame, this rubbish, and, mm. you know, because there's nothing good that really comes from being famous. Mm. More money, more problems. So more money, say. more problems. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, People yeah, don't yeah, believe yeah. it. Yeah, you get a lot of hatred as well, don't you? Yeah, you get you get you. everything. Yeah, you get everything. You get hate. You get you get there is positive. There is positives. You get money, mm-hmm. but then what's what's money? Do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, my my parents my parents raised me without being. I had to work for money. My, mm. When I lived in Spain, my dad still hard raised me hard. Yeah, my dad's got got money. But he raised me to earn my money. Yeah, right. Do you know what I mean? I'd, right. I'd work hard. Right. When I mean work hard, I mean he would not give me a penny. Right. Went, like proper, not give me a penny. That's why he's still rich. Yeah. You know I mean, <laughs> you know, he won't give, give, right. give me nothing. I right. swear. Right. I swear. I had to go and do painting and decorating for a few months, right. done scaffolding for a few months, you know. And do you know what it is, Connor? A lot of these fans don't know that. They think, obviously, because you're the son of a legend, they think you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but he obviously he you had hard, to graft. He, ra- he, he, he was raised hard himself. Eight brothers, right. you know, had nothing. Um, and, you know, with me, he, he raised me the best way. That's, That's why right. I'm grateful for everything I do get. When I got sent, when I got sent to England and I, and I started training here, I would get, he would give me £50 a week while I was staying at Hatton's in Hyde. I wow. lived there for six months. Wow. And um, he'd give me 50 pound a week and that'd buy my food. Um, that'd fund whatever I wanted. I didn't do anything because I didn't right. have no money to do anything, but it teaches you the value of money. And that's why I raised my kids. You work for your money. Yeah, yeah, what course. I have is mine. Yeah, he gave me a blessed life by raising me in Spain for 12 years. Had my own beautiful bathroom, beautiful one suite. Mm. You know, had my beautiful balcony, but he never gave me money. Right. So I won't mind. So with that mindset, do you do you obviously transfer that mindset into your professional career? Like you have to work of hard. Of course. Yeah. I mean, all these big bills, yeah, it's all great at the end of the day. Mm. But if you're no good, mm. you will get found out. Pretty easy in your career you as well. You will get found out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know it's it's worrying because I didn't know what I was in for, and now I'm in it. I realise what what yeah. it's about. I would have I would have maybe take my time a little bit more. Wait till I'm a 26 year old man yeah. who can handle everything as a man in the ring and out of the ring. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean the criticism, the hate? Because you don't you mentally you didn't prepare yourself for it, and now I know what it's about. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know all I can do is you know appreciate the love I do get, which is a lot of love. Yeah. Um, the support and you know every everyone everyone who uh, motivates me, inspires me. You know the support I get, every comment I read on social media. It's all it all, it all helps. So obviously you're here to build your own legacy. You don't want to obviously live in because your dad is famous. Yeah, but you want to build your own legacy, your own stamp on the sport, so it's kind of been. Yeah, of era. course. I, f- yeah. I think, um, believe it or not, I think it's more heading that way, sort mm. of. Mm-hmm. Simply because I think people do see that I'm here on my, I've left my family behind to do what I got to do at the age of 19. I was when I come here, um, you know, to come into an industry that's a hard industry. You know, and to deal with the pressure of the Ben name. Do you yeah, know what I mean? So yeah. people, I think people are starting to realise that. But at the end of the day, the apple don't fall far from the tree. I'm not, yeah. I'm not far off being exactly like my dad. Right. Do you know what I mean? So there will always be. I might have, if someone goes to my yeah. dad when he was over, oh, yeah. you're kind of Ben's dad. 
Yeah, I was like, I was like, jeez, man. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, that's it. I was like, when that's it, I was like, man. Yeah, it's freaking like, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and exactly. you know, and you know, it is, and it's something will sound Nigel Bent. Yeah, it is what it is. But you know, that apple don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. I reckon if you was to interview my dad now, we'd speak exactly the same yeah, way yeah, I speak. Yeah. It's yeah. just it, I've it's, seen it's a lot of it. interviews with you and your dad. Obviously, you've got yeah. a great chemistry there. Yeah. You can't fake that. Yeah. You know, and it, what do you think of obviously Celia being in his son's uh, career? Do you think it's good for him? He what said, it, he said in, in an interview on a press conference once. Um, I was there. He's, yeah, yeah, he yeah. goes, oh, you need to be there for your son, otherwise he's going to make mistakes. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah, said yeah. that on camera, Nigel's message for you. No, my dad yeah. raised me well. Yeah, yeah. He raised me well to deal with the walks of life that come come to you. Mm -hmm. Like when I got, when I made that silly comment mm -hmm. um, on on social media, you live and you learn. Yeah, yeah, of course you, of course you. What, my dad's going to protect me as a 20, now 21 year old, 20 year old young man. No, I need to make mistakes so I learn, so I grow, so I prosper, so I can tell my kids don't make that mistakes. Mm. I don't need my dad there holding my hand. Mm. Any mm. mistakes I make, I take it on the chin, I deal with it. My dad raised me, you make your bed, you lie in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I yeah. did something wrong, you make your bed, you lie in it, you deal with it. Yeah. And, you know, and that's what it is. And you need that sort of mentality in a hard exactly. sport like boxing Name any 20 year old kid can I live the life I live and still yeah. be humble, still be grounded. And you know, know the value of money, and yeah. you know, not get. I mean, most people get have their head up their rear. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still the same kid I was when I first grounded. turned over, and that's just the way I am. Right. So the last one. I mean, obviously, your opponent. Um, do you know much about him Nathan, at all? What sort of fight do you Nathan expect? Nathan Clark. Yeah. He looks half decent. Definitely the best to date I thought. So I'm, I'm ready. Come right. on. Right. Okay. And a year from now, where do you see yourself, bro? I know it'd be nice to see myself in Miami sitting on a beach with a pina colada, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've got a roof for me. Oh, exactly. You know, but mate, Cheers, thanks for kind of good luck, mate. Take care.